Today we're looking at donut charts in Google Sheets. Donut charts are a type of pie chart. So we have some data here. Let's go ahead and select this and start by inserting a chart. So we'll go to the insert menu and chart and Google automatically selected a pie chart for us in this instance. So we'll go ahead and resize this and then we'll go through and set our options. So we can convert this to a donut chart in one of two ways. One is through the chart type selection here. We can scroll down and then under pie charts, we can select donut chart here or through the customize, we can go to pie chart and then set the donut hole size here. So we can select whichever size that we would like for that donut and we can go from there. So if we need to adjust the data range here, we can do that here or adjust what is selecting. And sometimes you may need to adjust and switch the rows and columns there for the data to fit appropriately. And then we can go to the customize and set the options for what we would like it to look like. And so we can do things like background color or we can even remove the background color if you want. And the same thing with the border colors. We also do things like maximize or 3D. And then down under pie chart, we again have that donut hole. We can also set the border color here as well. We can also determine if we want anything to show up on the slices. And so we can do things like labels, which in this case don't really fit. We can do the values, which may be more appropriate. We can also do percentage, uh, which in this case we need to resize for it to show up. In this case, let's just do values. And then we can set the font size, label font, and any font options we want there. Next, on the pie slice, we can actually set the colors for each one individually. And then we can also decide if we want to actually pop one out and highlight a little bit, just like that, using this distance from center. Or we can leave it like that as the default. We can also add chart titles here. And so we can say regional sales, for example, and have it like that and do the same font options here as well. Or if we don't want a title at all, we can go ahead and remove that. And then finally, under the legend, we can do auto, which is in this case doing a labeled one, or we can set it to show up somewhere on the chart, which we have top, bottom, and left and right. Let's go ahead and leave it as labeled for now. And then we can also have those font options here as well. So one thing we can do as well, if we have a transparent background, and so if we went up here, we can change this to none for the background color. And what this will allow us to do is actually put some text behind here. So let's maybe just merge some of these and just put some text maybe called region. And then we can see how that fits in there. So that fits pretty good. And so we can leave it like that. We can also do some formatting if we want. And that gives us a quick handy label for our chart. Now, one thing to note is if we go back to customize and give us a background color that will disappear. So you have to make sure you set that background color to none for something behind it to show up like region. Next, let's go to a different type of donut chart that may be helpful for you. And this one is a progress bar. And so we already have the math set up here with the formulas to show our completed and remaining. And just as a quick example here, we're just using a simple count if to determine how many are checked and then a remaining of how many are still false. And so you can set this up in however way you want, depending upon the stages that you're using for your progress bar. But ultimately what we need here is a number for completed and a number for remaining. And then over here, I just set up a 0% that goes increases as we select. And this will be again showing up in the middle like we had on this chart here. So in this case, I just have a simple formula to calculate the percentage complete. So at this point, we can go ahead and create our chart. So I can go ahead and select this data up here with our completed and remaining. Insert chart. And then we want to change this to a donut chart. Now, we're not exactly getting what we want there. And so let's go ahead and switch rows and columns there. At this point, we have 
a basic chart. So let's go ahead and size this down real quick and make sure that it's working correctly. And so there it is. And so let's go ahead and adjust our settings. So if you double click, it pulls up our settings. We can go to customize and then make sure we first change our background color so we can see our percentage. We can also change the border color as well if you kind of want it to fade in the background. And now we can kind of put this where we want it. And then let's go ahead and change these pie slices as well. And so maybe we'll do completed as a green and maybe the remaining as a gray. So you can pick whatever colors you like in this case. And then as we check, those will cycle around. So you may want this remaining completed or we could get rid of these labels entirely and go to none and just keep it a very simple layout like this. And at this point now, we can simply check these boxes and see our progress bar in that way. Maybe adjust this just a little bit to fit that a little better. And now we can see that it works very smoothly and looks really great just like that.